And we're back with another Supreme drop list. This week we have the Supreme WTAPS collaboration. This is of course releasing December 2nd, like it says on screen at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can calculate what that will be for you. But like I said, this week is highlighted by WTAPS collaboration. If you're not familiar with them, they are a Japanese streetwear brand with a focus on <clears throat> militaristic, um, inspired pieces i suppose and as we look at the collaboration or the collection pieces you guys will get an understanding for that but there's also a lot of really good lookbook pieces dropping this week so uh with that being said we're gonna hop into it and check out what's dropping we have number one this is ranked in terms of popularity highest upvotes to lowest and the top one is the <laughs> supreme storm bowling ball it's just a fat box logo on a white bowling ball we have the storm logo on the other side no idea what price is going to be like on this, but um, next up we have the Supreme Hanes Bones Thermal Crew. This is a top and bottom, but they're sold separately. We have several colorways. As you can see, we got the white, black, and red. These are one of my favorite pieces from this, the season. Like, I don't, I don't know if I was really feeling this season. I did a review of it. You can go watch if you're interested, but I really like these pieces. They're, they're going to make for really cool layering pieces. On top of that, I, I think the tops are also just like something that you can rock if you get it, maybe like a size up or um, depending on how, on how you wear it, you can like, you know, wear it as just a, the, the outer layer, I suppose. But anyway, with, uh, with that being said, definitely want to cop those. My favorite are the black and red. Um, and if you guys are planning on getting more than one when they previously did this, uh, the thermals, they had it so you can only buy one of each color. So keep that in mind. You can swap your address a little bit, change credit cards or something like that and try to get more than one. And then they have the matching bottoms, like I said. Same thing, same colors. A little less detailed, or I guess, you know, the same amount of detail going into it, but just obviously less bones going on there. And then we have the first WTAPS piece. This is the Grills Incense Burner. And when I first saw this, I was like, oh, dang, they're doing grills, but it's just an incense burner. So, uh, I don't know. It'll look cool when it's lit, all the smoke coming out of the mouth, but um, not not sure how much this is going to cost. It would have been cool to see, like, actual Supreme grills. Maybe some people will take this apart and turn it into that. But uh, moving forward, we have the Windstopper Neck Gator, and I'm not sure what colorways this, this is coming in. I know it has a couple. Um, they showed it off before i guess supreme community only has the one color uh made out of the windstopper material this is going to be if you're not sure what it is it's a neck gaiter similar to like a bandana or something like that like a scarf to go around your neck block the wind i think they've done cooler like winter accessories that do the same uh the same thing uh we have the wtaps incense pack which is a 20 pack and then moving on we're getting into more of the collaboration pieces we have the crew neck and for the most part, a lot of this stuff is just really like very, very simple. Um, looks like they are using WTAP blanks, to, like, uh, you know, looking at the tags, I'm assuming that anyway. Uh, we can take a closer look, try to zoom in on one of these so you guys can get a little bit better of a look, but obviously not the normal Supreme tag. We have visual up armored by Supreme, WTAPS, 94 and 96. I'm assuming those are the starting years of each of the brands. And uh, these these are all right. I don't think this is anything crazy. The colorways are good, you know, pretty safe colorways. We also have the hoodie, the Sikkim hoodie. On the back we have Street as Usual, 2021, and then WTAPS and Supreme. On the front we get a more interesting graphic. We have this where it says Sikkim. Uh, a couple exclamation points and i thought this was like a chanel patch um let's try to get a closer look actually looks like it might just be printed on uh, tbd though <laughs> might be some type of applique um moving forward we have the tactical down vest which looks more like a flak jacket almost like it goes really far um they had like a lookbook picture of somebody actually wearing it and I think these are really cool, but I think it goes too far. It's, it's just like way too long. It's like a whole torso piece instead of like a chest, like body armor looking piece, which personally, those are the kind of bulletproof or 
not necessarily bulletproof vest, but you know, the like milita militaristic, like streetwear vests that I like are the ones that are just kind of like the chest one. And like I was saying, this one just goes down super far. Like this is like the size of like a t-shirt it was looking like on the, on the model that they had. So pass for me, you just have that same like branding there. I think it's a, a really cool silhouette that they're venturing onto. I don't think Supreme has done a vest like this. I know they kind of like started getting popular, popular a couple of years ago, um, but I don't think they've done that silhouette yet. And then moving forward, we have the Sikkim T, which is the same as the hoodie. You get the same thing on the back, uh, the street as usual. So not bad. Uh, as far as the Sikkim stuff, it's like, I don't know, not, not too crazy about it. We have the faux fur hooded jacket, which doesn't look like a collaboration piece. There's really nothing special about it in my opinion. Like this, this is something that I would, wouldn't be surprised if Supreme released on its own. And apart from that, I'm just, you know, I don't like puffers. Really not a huge fan of faux fur either. So th this is a big turnoff for me. Moving forward, we have the varsity jacket. I think it says bombers on the back. Then we have the snake going in and out of an apple with a interesting face going on. We have the <clears throat> sickum going down the sleeve, which is, you know, a recurring theme here. Uh, and then on the other sleeve, we have the 94 and 96 for both brands. Get some WTAP Supreme here. And then a bunch of other um, text going on on the sleeve. It's a varsity. So they're, they're playing along with that theme. Do I like it? Uh, I'm not the craziest about it. Uh, I've never really been into varsity jackets, so it's a pass for me. Moving forward, we have the wind, the wind stopper overalls dropping alongside that wind stopper neck gaiter. I wouldn't be surprised if those neck gaiter colors match these, since it's the same like week, same material. They got the wind stopper stuff, and I like these, but there's something missing. I, I feel like there's just not enough going on on these. Maybe they need some like 3M taping on the bottom or if the straps had like a Supreme Spello going on in them, I think it'd add a lot to them. There's just not enough going on on these. They're, they're a little too weak, but I do like them depending on the price. Maybe I'll try to cop um, the, the uh, kind of like beige or like cream one's kind of cool because it has the red box logo, whereas all the other ones are tonal. And then for skateboards, we have the Sikkim skateboard graphic we've been seeing. We got the WTAPS beanie, just co-branded. We get the zip-up hooded sweatshirt. That's a big pass. <laughs> Sorry for the background noise. We have the Mitchell and Ness hockey jersey, which not crazy about. Windstopper sweatpant. And then we have the velvet short sleeve shirt, which is an all over like spider web embroider or like emboss or something like that. And you guys know me, not into the spider graphics. I feel like they usually come out a little cheesy, but I don't know. If this had a little bit more randomness to it, other than just being what looks like stacked, repeated graphics, like right here, you can just see like web, 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 all on top of each other. It looked a little bit better. I, I don't think it looks necessarily the worst. I think this is a good material for it and the like embroider or however they have those represented doesn't look too bad. We have the new era, uh, the eyes new era hat, the hoodie that dropped at that graphic was way better. We have the equip thermal, not as good of a thermal as the other one. This looks like it's going to be more too, since not the Hanes one. And then we have the rainbow knit loose gauge stuff. Not crazy about that. Ear flap camp cap following those wind stopper colorways. Looks like it is also that wind stopper material pleated trouser, not bad pants. We have the wind stopper ear flap crusher. Got everything wind stopper dropping this week. And then we also have the support unit six panel. Both of these are trash and that's the end of the drop list. So what do you guys think of the week? What do you think of the collaboration? What's your favorite piece? Are you guys going to go for anything? As always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video.